to everyone. I am back. All right. Um. <laughs> all right. Cool. So for today's episode, what we're gonna do is discuss how to find the work you love to win. Uh, throughout the last two weeks, especially, I actually interacted with a lot of people who are um, not pleased or not happy with the work they are doing and as a result they are looking for other forms of income or other hobbies or other things they could do to um, get income or as well just do work they enjoy doing the problem with what they are having is that they don't know what they're good at they don't know what what direction to go so for these people I I wanted to give them a little bit of the advice that I use that I found online that I think will be helpful for them as well so follow these three steps and you could actually um, be guided or start at least find a direction to something that you'll be interested in step number one do a deep dive into yourself in terms of what your interests are what are you currently interested in and make a list of the things that you are interested in so some of us are interested in art some music sometimes film sometimes we're interested in video games nothing is wrong with any type of interest that you have I think it's important though to understand that if the interest is just stemming from a place of wanting entertainment or if you can see yourself actually being a creator in this space so identify all of the interests if you have 20 100 interests try to write down all and see what is something that you could actually take action with among these interests that you would enjoy doing not just watching TV all right now you could be a film critic but you still need to take an active participation in dissecting uh, scripts and dissecting films and movies number two figure out what your innate skills are all right a lot of people actually have natural skills that they were born with and they may not use as often so some people like myself i realized that i was a natural storyteller because i was always writing when i was growing up i used to write music i used to write short stories i used to draw comics and only as i grew up i realized that the underlying theme was i was always telling a story of some kind so i realized that that writing and storytelling was a natural gift for me on the flip side I also gained skills as I grew older in terms of design photography videography however through taking action I realized that I was better at certain skills than other skills so it's really important to understand what your natural skills are and sometimes you need to go back in the past and realize or figure out what the skills you were really good at as a child or as a youth were and just kind of look at your progression through life and see how those skills develop and what your true skills are so just do some self-reflection a great step or a great thing that you could actually use is the mbti quiz that's the Myers-Briggs personality quiz. Google it. Uh, I think there's one called 16personalities.com. When you do the quiz, they actually give you what your personality type is and they give you insight to who you are as a person and what skills you may have. So I thought that was a great way to start your journey in terms of finding out your skills and who you are. The third and probably the most important step is to take action i personally had like i mentioned before a lot of skills that i wanted to try out i i liked videography i liked music i liked 
design. I liked a lot of things in media. So as a result of me trying all these different things growing up, I actually realized what I was better at and what I was worse at. And for me, I think it's really important to focus your energy in things that you are more innately skilled at and figure out how you could use this skill to better the world or better people around you. And the only way you could really do that is by taking action. So it is a process and I think as long as you are willing to take the time to put in the work to, to learn about yourself, figure out your skills, figure out your interests and take action on them, you'll be able to figure out what, what part or what, what you could do to help people in the world. So those are the three steps to figure out what is the work that you were created to do. So just a reminder, number one, write down all your interests, all the things that you are interested in. It could be a cause that you're interested in, it could be a skill set, it could be movies, whatever you're interested in, make a long list and see how you could identify what are the actionable things you are interested in that you could take part in creating or be a part of. Number two, figure out what your innate skills are. What are the things you are just naturally good at doing? Like I said, I was good at writing. Some people are good at just talking and meeting people. Some people are great at planning things. Whatever your innate natural skills are, make a list of them and jot it down and see how it ties in with your interests. Number three, take action. Try the things that you realize you are interested in and you have skills in and see how best you can um, actually make those things or take part or be a part of the things in the world and see how you can actually participate to help somebody else through these skills and interests. So that's it. I would like everybody to at least try it out if you're feeling lost and you are looking for what that thing is for you. Uh, try it out and probably put it down in the comments when you find something that you are interested in doing and maybe somebody else could help you. Alright, so that is it for today. Thank you for joining me. I'll ask you to hit the like if this was helpful. Subscribe if you think the videos are, be, are helpful for you. And I'll see you in the next video next week. Alright, cool. See you guys later.